Welcome again on my channel. Today we're gonna focus on modpack installation. What it requires, what's good to do at the beginning, how to do it, and that's it. So let's start. At first we have to get the modpack. So you can I'm gonna show you that on example of Asline modpack. You can get it from several locations. One of them is original Asline's website. Uh, or the Wargaming Forum, I do it from my own website. So that's my website, Hyundai.com. We can go to Modparks and let's search for Asline. And that's it, that's here. Uh, so let's go in the description of the mod. Usually I place the, the changes which were made recently. Uh, you can comment, you can make some notes by yourself, and let's download. As you all, as you all are aware, um, hosting costs money. So I'm using Adfly just to maintain the server and collect a little bit, not to pay for everything from my own pocket. To download from Adfly, you have to open the website, which will, where you will be taking from the download link wait 5 seconds, skip the ad, and download the file. So then you can close everything what's popping up. As you can see the Asline mod pack was installed, done, and let's move it. I have it in my folder here. Previously, what's very important, I made a backup of my own current res mods folder. There shouldn't be any issues with that while you're doing the installation of Asline mod pack. It will replace all your current mods. It will erase the content of the folder uh, or as I will show you in the further part of that clip you can pick up the option that you just want to override the, the changes, the newest versions and that's it. But just in case if something will go wrong locate the folder with your mods, make a backup so at any stage you can go back to your current setup, which is hopefully I'm, <laughs> which hopefully uh, is working properly. So let's go ahead. I made a backup. Game is off. So let's start the Asline. Let's run the file. Let's pick up the English language of installation. Okay, and let's wait a moment. So let's run and how it looks, where it takes us. Enable image and sound preview by default. Let's use it. And in here you can see the introduction. So small brief information about the mod pack which Asline is providing. And then you can see the change log so you can see what was changed in that package in comparison to the previous one. Let's go to the next one. It asks you where is your game folder. In my case it's C Games World of Tanks, so the default one, but if your game is installed somewhere else you can browse and specify the location of the main game folder. You don't have to specify the location of the mods folder, just the game folder. So let's go to the next step. And what we have, we have the whole big list of all available mods which are included in that pack. Okay, and as you can see here on the right we have the image preview. Okay, so how it works. It, when you click on something it shows you actually how it can look in the game. So we have here XVM section, color scheme and red versus green. So it means that we are green and our enemies will be red. Right now we are in a stage where some of the mods are not working as the language to code them was changed and some of them are not fully updated yet that's why here on the list they're grayed out but the preview as you can see works so if it will be if it would work you would be able to pick up blue versus orange so it means that you or your team is blue enemies are orange. It's up to you, your preferences. Some like that color section, some of us like the other one. Um, 
then we have other sections and if you do not understand any of the sections just click on that and if the image preview is available it will be shown here Asline also highlights which section the specific mod or the setting relates to okay so that shows the details about the servers let's go down a little bit lower and I mentioned in my previous uh, video clip that you can also change things about hangars how it looks so most probably it's in the last section here we have voices different languages and is it here texture graphic as you can see the list is pretty big so for the first time if you're completely new to that mod pack it might take a while before you will go through everything but oh yeah minimalistic hunger or other details here oh garage appearance at the moment there is only there are only two of them so the view of the garage that's mainly because of the newer version of coding pro <coughs> coding language used to create mods in game but normally there is way more of them you can change the crew icons how they look different pictures <laughs> minions anime and historical so actual names inside the game they refer to real people and some someone spent some time to match the names with the real faces. Oh, that's actually boring for me. I'm not going to change that. Tank carousel. That's really handy. If you have a lot of tanks, you don't have to have one line, but at the moment that is not working. I heard from some rumors that Wargaming is planning to implement the carousel so more tanks in one screen in the next coming patch uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen pretty soon but they're working on it hopefully it will be implemented that really helps to all the people who have more than five tanks and as I have almost 70 of them in my garage that's really handy to pick them up quickly without filters okay so we picked up what we wanted let's presume that I picked up everything I went through all the list and let's pick up next and that's also pretty important part of the installation so you can pick up the installation type clean that deletes everything what you have currently in rest modes that means that everything what's there will be deleted and then the new mods will be installed that might avoid that might prevent from causing any kind of conflicts in between old mods which you have and the newer ones there is also another version normal installation only for advanced use so advanced users when you will be more familiar with the topic you can use that one then we have option to remove the content of DLC cache that's also handy when your game is experiencing some bugs related to mods when it's crashing delete clean that folder okay and then reset the game settings and clean up the cache that means that you're going to reset all the settings not only of mods but also of the game so it's going to be like brand new after first installation i don't have to do it so i just pick up clean installation i'm going to replace all my existing mods with the ones which are offered in that mod pack also the mods which i picked up from the list pick up next then we have summary what I picked up what going to be installed and I press install that's it end of story <coughs> one thing which I did not mention uh, in relation to the last section where you can pick up sounds and different skins for the garage or for your tanks uh, they might contain a lot of data and not everything is included inside the package which you download as you can see it's only 67 megabytes and some high definition skins for tanks might be even three four hundred megs so some of the mods if you pick them up for the first time might be downloaded from external server 
that might take a little bit more time depending on amount of people who are doing this at the moment usually just after the release of a new version the demand is pretty high so it might take longer a uh, day or two after it, it goes way faster also one of the parts of mods it's XVM and if you want to use XVM to see stats of other players, as you can see here, colors, and on the start of the battle you will see the different colors depending on WN8 rating, you might need to visit modxvm.com to enable your account and update your statistics. I did it today in the morning so I don't have to do it right now, but also remember about that. if the XVM stats are not showing in your website on sorry at the beginnings of your battle in main ca most cases you just have to go to the website to activate your account and we players finish and that's it done job done so right now we can start the game as you can see I have it here on <coughs> quick launch I use it pretty often my game is in Polish and as you can see the game resource pass do not exist. What happened? Let's check. Res mods and we have a folder called 9.15.1 and as we know the latest version of uh, World of Tanks is 9.15.1.1 and the Asline mod pack is from a couple of days and it's not fully updated up to the newest update of the game so what I'm gonna do in this particular situation it's enough if I'm just gonna change the name of the folder to do one which is needed because the small patch from today morning actually fixed some bugs with mods but also changed the folder where mods are stored to 9.15.1.1 as you can see it's easy I just changed the name and the game is uploading so let's wait a moment and we will see if it was installed properly. While I'm waiting, I picked up the option to automatically log in. I do not play on several accounts, I have only one. I always use the same one, so World of Tanks can log in for me automatically. That saves a little bit of time, a couple of seconds might be handy. That's it. Job done. Everything installed. Garage looks no normally. I like to highlight my premium tanks so it's easier to pick them up. Uh, you can mark, as you can see, the list of my tanks is pretty big so usually I pick up the tanks which I like to play the most as a main ones and they are done at the beginning of the list so it's a little bit easier to to search for them that's it for today enjoy keep practicing if you have any questions write a comment I'll try to answer hands up hands down if you don't like it I hope that you do subscribe and see you next time